Greetings to the 13 tribes of Israel scattered in the four corners of the earth, and to the Gentiles called by the name of Abba Yahuwah. This is the name that above all name. Shabbat Shalom. Much love and much prosperity attend your family for you are the reason of our time like truth because the time is simply near. Just as we see the days goes by and so draw nigh the coming of Yahushua HaMashiach. Just as the Malak of Yahuwah said unto Yahuwah the Revelator, seal not the prophecies of this book for the time is simply near. Exactly what we are doing here family. Decode the end times, prophecies, signs, or dreams in preparing people like you, body like you, house like you, for the returning of King Yahushua HaMashiach, our eternal bridegroom, to whom do eternally our worship, praise, service, love, power, honor, wealth, riches, glory, yes, to the glory of his magnificent Father Yehuwah the Almighty. Hey, and to the Ruach HaKodesh, the very DNA of Abba Yehua, the no-go area of Abba Yehua, don't touch me over there of Abba Yehua, the unpardonable area of Abba Yehua, I mean the true essence of Abba Yehua, the very fire, fire, the breath of eternity. Yes, This is no go area of Abba Yehuah. He he Santa Yes, I love the Ruach Hakodesh. Hallelujah. Yes, Abba Yehuah. You have been worshipped, loved, praised, honored, served eternally in the temple of your eternal home, made your very Isha. For you are my eternal husband and also my father. I love you, Abbe Yehuwa. For my soul is bound with your soul. I am bound with you eternally, unbreakable. Thank you, Abbe Yehuwa, for binding my soul with your soul. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, now, family. Here we are in the heavenly court room of Abba Yehuwah with this powerful message titled for you and me. Do you believe in miracle? Mm? Virgin birth, the most powerful eternal miracle of Abba Yehuwah. All right now, what miracle do you believe in? Blasting of the Red Sea, blasting of the River, uh, river Jordan, mm? or manna from heaven. Mm? Raising the dead, mm, cleansing the leper, mm, opening the eyes of the blind. Mm, which miracle? Okay, uh, the burial of Yahushua, mm, or the resurrection, or his ascension. Tell me now, which miracle do you, do you believe in? <laughs> okay, feeding of the 5,000 with just two loaves of bread. Come on now, tell me, name it. But well, except this one, you don't believe this one. The virgin birth is natural. But the blessing of the rest is a miracle. <laughs> but like I always love to say, it's not sensational, not emotional, not radiation burning, not personal at all. But by the royal law subjective, we want to do something powerful here today again. We want to discuss how the world of Abba Yehua becomes a miracle. Is, this is the most powerful miracle. The very most powerful eternally this one you can't for i can't forget it forget this why what would ever make me to forget this huge miracle that beat my imaginations down all right now so i want to lay hammer again okay to expose the cedar serpent among us the blasphemer okay the blasphemed already abay or rather the ruach hakodesh you know, did this. Abba Yehuwah have three components. He said, you can, when you touch the Father, there is more sin. When you touch the Son, His word, there is more sin. Abba Yehuwah said, but don't touch me in this part. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't give you this part. Abba Yehuwah have three components, like I said. You can use your fitness not to rob my first part and to rob my word. No problem. I will pardon. But my spirit, <laughs> then not go. That is no good area. If you dare, Abba Yehuwah said, I'm going to kill you eternally. You should fear Abba Yehuwah. In this aspect, he said, fear me. In this aspect, he said, don't go. You can go anywhere, but this very one, mm -mm, don't, 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 don't. You see, Herod, when he refused to give 
you know, glory to Yehuwah. And Abba Yehuwah sent forth his angel to smote him. When men are beginning to praise him, this man is the voice of the Most High. Uh, you now, he now sat in his throne, beginning to act as if he is almighty. Therefore, right away, Abba Yehuwah dispatched angel, he smote him. He died. Adam Apostle chapter 12. That is no go area. Don't touch Abba Yehuwah's spirit. That is unpardonable. The Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh, the set apart spirit of Abba did this one dancer. And you now gave that seat and say, Come on, Joseph did it. Abba has already killed you. And it's going to kill many of you. That is to tell, okay? That is spreading this feeble, this poison. This is poison in our souls. You are poisoning people's souls, Kazawan. Gathering of Christ Church. Israelites unite with Christ. You are all poisoning the souls of humanity. But mind you, you are already in a broad way of no return. You blasphemed already. And this is unpardonable. All right, now let's dig into the miracle you have not yet known about Abbe Yehovah. Because you didn't count this as a miracle. That, that was why you trampled it down. This is the most powerful. In fact, this begins your salvation. This begins your eternal state. This begins everything you have been believing for. You missed it. But you believe the blasting of the rest. Say, okay, I bet you were fed our fathers in the wilderness with the food of angels. You believe that. But you know, when you not come to this, you say, oh, no, 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 I'm not going to be believing this. No, that is shit. That is summary remorse. That is uh, Egyptologist. That is Babylonian Catholic dogma. No, 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 no. Joseph did it. That is strong blasphemy. Anyway, let me not be using my feelings. Hmm? Let's put in the word of Abbe Yehovah. All right now, Revelation chapter 1, verse 7, I read. Behold. He cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. And they also which appears to him, all kindreds of the earth, shall mourn because of him. Even so, amen. You are piercing him. You are rejecting him. You are mocking his birth, his conception. But you're going to see him with great glory. Uh, great glory. In fact, the one that is coming now, Maria never gave birth to that. That one never even come from no whatever flesh. It is the word of Abbey. What the one Maria gave birth to, that one it goes down. That is the one that died for you and me. The one that is coming is, is the is, is the word of Abbey Yehovah. That one Maria never gave birth to. The very one that is coming now, that all eyes is going to see right in the cloud, including you that is piercing him. That is speaking bad about his conception. That is mocking his conception. Say so you're going to weep. You're going to mourn. Because you have done wickedly. Hmm. All right now, Exodus Shemo, chapter 34, verses 10. <clears throat> and he said, Behold, I, I make a covenant before all thy people. I will do marvelous, such as have not been done in all the earth. This is number one conception of Yehoshua in all the No one has ever been conceived in such a way. Nor in any nation. Egyptologist is a lie. Catholic dogma of Mary, whatever, is a lie. Samoremos and Etamus and all this nonsense, virgin birth, every other way, is a lie. Is a corruption. Is the is the is, is they just want to corrupt the real testimony, in order for you to say hey, this is an Egyptologist and hey, this one we are saying that no, is this Babylonian Samoremos? Ah, wow, vomiting! Don't bring it to me! Don't bring it to me! Oh, fully angels. Genesis. Oh, that was bring about destruction. Don't bring it to me. No. Now, this is not what we are talking about here. This is Abba Yehovah. This is Almighty Yehovah. Mm -hmm. This has to do with him. Whatever, whatever he did or does, it is pure. No Egyptologist, okay? I'm talking about Samoremos. Mm -mm. Talking about Abba Yehovah. And we are also talking about the worship of Vaji or the worship of Vagina. Mm -mm. We are talking about the wonders of Abbe Yehua. Listen now. He said, And all people among which thou art shall see the work of Yehua, for it is a terrible thing that I will do with thee. You know, this one, that is the one that is coming now. He once came like a baby. You, you are still pierced to him. But this is coming now as a full grown up man. This man is not going to take nonsense. When he once came, he take nonsense. And he's still taking nonsense 
till this very moment until the day he will appear as a full grown up man that no one dare come nigh. His presence is low. No one has ever even seen the way he are or yes, his glory or his divinity and live. Whenever they see that they all go down his feet. Yo can I said I was like a dead man. Daniel like a dead man. Everyone that sees him, they go down. Okay, that is the one coming now. Mm, that is the one coming. Not Egyptologist. Okay, so let's take put some more. I want to dig into the mirror. Let me tell you a few, just a few little. Because from eternity to eternity, I won't be able to talk about the wonders of you. I want to just put in few. You can get these accounts. I want, I'm about to read in the book of... Um, I'm going to read from the book of Yahshua, the wonders of Abbe you are right in the land of Egypt, okay? You can see this briefly in uh, Exodus chapter 2. You just brief it. The great wonders is over here. The book of Yahshua, okay? Uh, Joshua chapter 10, verses 13. Make references to the book of Yahshua. Second Samuel, okay, chapter 1, verses 18. Make references to the book of Yahshua. Even Second Timothy chapter 3, verses 8. Quote from the book of Yahshua. Okay, I want to read some wonders of Abba Yehovah for you. And we will not go into the very missed subject, okay? Let's do it together. If you have the book of Yahshua, you can read all the chapter 67. I want to be taking for the sake of time. Uh, 30, uh, 50, 3 to 57. And when the children of Israel heard these things, which Pharaoh had commanded to cast their male children into the river, some of the people separated from their wives, and others, you know, he to, the, to them. And from that day forward, when the time of delivery arrived to those women of Yazreel who had uh, retained uh, or remained with their husband, they went to the field to bring forth there. And uh, they brought forth in the field and left, the ch left their children upon the field and returned home. 55. And Yehovah, who had a sworn to their ancestors to multiply them, sent one of his ministry angels, uh, which are in heaven, to wash each child in water, to anoint and to clothe it, and to put into its hand two smooth stones, from one of which it uh, sucked milk, and from the other honey. Do you see how Abayawa nourished our forefather? <laughs> he nourished the post to, to stone see their hand iron. And he caused its uh its hair to grow to to its knees by which it might cover itself to comfort it and to uh cleave to it uh through his compassion for it. And when Yahuwah had compassion over the, uh, yeah, compassion over them and had a desire to multiply them upon the face of the earth of the land. He ordered his earth to receive them to be preserved therein to you the time of their growing up, after which the earth opened its mouth and vomited them forth, and they uh, spritted forth from the city like the herbs of the earth and the grass of the uh, forest, and they returned each to his family and each to, uh, and to his father's house, and they remained with them. And the babies of the children of Israel were upon the earth like the herbs of the field through Yehovah's grace for them. Okay, Pharaoh thought he was smart. And this is how Abba Yehovah, where they came out, they were just like the armies of heaven. Abba Yehovah opened the earth and put them, because when the woman just gave birth, they would just leave them for the fear of Pharaoh not to destroy them. But Abba Yehovah released his angel to be taking care of them until they are, you know, uh, grown up. So that is not by one. You can keep reading. I want to also put another one. Fear Yehovah, okay. All right, now the book of Yahshua, chapter 7. We start from one. And in the third year from the birth of Moses, okay, Moshe, Pharaoh was sitting at, at a banquet when the queen was sitting at his side. And he, and, and the light, the Moshe, was laid upon her bosom. And Balaam, the son of Beru, with his two sons, and all the princes of the kingdom, we are sitting at the table in the king's palace. And the lad, which is Moshe, okay, stretched forth his hand upon the king's head, and took the crown from the, from the king's head, and placed it on his own head. 
3. And when the king and prince saw the work which the boy had done, the king and princes were terrified, and one man to his neighbor expressed astonishment. And the king said unto the princes who were before him at table, uh, What speak you? And what say you, O oh, ye princes, in this matter? And and what, uh, and what is to be, uh, what is to be the judgment against the boy on account of this? Because <laughs> you know, uh, Balaam knows us too well, and I begin to read this, and then let's see how Abiyawa rescued him. Angel came. If Abiyawa can so clot Angel, you said he cannot also clot his word to be flesh. So we start from twenty now for the sake of time. And Balaam said to the king, Let us moreover call for all the judges of Egypt and the wise men thereof, and let us know if the judgment of death is due to the boy, as thou didst say, and then we shall slay him. 21. And Pharaoh sent and called for all the wise men of Egypt, and they came before the king, and an angel of Yehovah came among them. And he was like one of the wise men of Egypt. Fear Yehovah. 22. And the king said to the wise men, Surely you have heard what this Hebrew boy, who is in the house, has done, and thus has Balaam judged in the matter. Now judge you also, and see what is due to the boy for the art he has committed. And the angel who sinned like one of the wise men of Pharaoh answered and said as follows, Before all the wise men of Egypt and before the king and the princes, if it please the king, let the king uh, send for men who shall bring before him an honest toast and a coal of fire, and place them before the, the child. And if the child stretch forth his hand and and take the honest to, then shall we know that what uh, with wisdom he, the youth, done all he has done, and we must lay him. But if he stretch forth his hand upon the coal, then shall uh, we know that it was not with knowledge that he did these things, and he shall live. And the things seemed good in the eyes of the king, and the princes. So the king did according to the word of the angel of Jehovah. And the king ordered the honest toes and co of fire bread and placed before Moses. And they placed the boy before them, and the lads endeavored to stretch forth his hand to the honest toe. But the angel of Jehovah took his hand and placed it upon the coal, and the cough uh, became extinguished in his hand and he lifted it up and put it into his mouth and bent part of his lips and put off his tongue and he became heavy in mouth and tongue and, and when the king and princes saw this they knew that Moses had not acted with wisdom in taking of the crown from the king's head so he lived a hang it over there you see miracle in Jenna put on now that the cloth of a uh, uh, wise man of Pharaoh to save Moshe. This is why he said uh, uh, in, in Genesis, uh, excuse me, Exodus chapter 3 or 4, when he was giving excuses unto Abba, he said, I'm of a heavy or slow speech. This is where he get that incident. He got it over here just to save it. If Abba, you what can so do this? What is his word that he cannot wrap up? They have to make sense. Okay, when he clot all this angel, do they do they make sense to do that? No. Do my do that for him? No. Angel not look like one. Okay, let's put some more before we not begin to let you know why we are here. Mm -hmm. Now I want to read from the book of uh, Tobits. Okay, if you have it, read read it all from this chapter. No, read start from chapter three. Or start okay from chapter three. Or start from this very chapter five. Way down to chapter twelve. Evil angel Raphael. Spent two weeks on earth with this very wonderful family with human flesh. I bet you what did the, I have no fear him. Mm -hmm. So we read quickly. One of those so bad, you know, not all, because so that I will be able to do what I want to do. The book of Tobit, chapter 5, I think, verses 5. Then Tobias, going forth, found a beautiful young man standing gate and as it were ready to walk. 
and not knowing that he was an angel of Yehovah, saluted them because the father ready to get the full account why the angel have to be sent because the father was blind and uh, someone holds him money in the land of meat and uh, Tobiah is only one, uh, to, a young Tobiah, uh, Tobias is only one child. So the father don't want to send, he want uh, somebody that can accomplish him to go and bring that money before he died. No one. So everybody will have to release and dispatch the angel to do that. To do that but, other, the, but the main reason he came is to open his blind eyes and to give Tobias wife <laughs> all right that read but the answer of the children okay mm -hmm. mm. he, he saluted him as uh, and said from where art thou good young man but the answer of the children of Yisrael, and tobiah said unto him no is that way the, the, the way that leadeth to the country of the means and he answered i know it i have often walked through all the ways Thereof, and I have a bird with Gabrielus. This is where it, it needs to go. Our brother, Angel is the one speaking, our brother, because he's our brother, who dwells at Regis, uh, Regis, uh, Regis, uh, Regis, a city of the Medes, which is uh, in the mountain of uh, Akpetana. And Tobias said to him, Stay for, uh, stay for me, I beseech thee, till I. Tell these things, uh, these some things to my father. Listen at him. Then Tobias, going in, told all these things to his father, upon which his father, be in admir uh, admiration, desired that he would come in unto him. So going in, he saluted him and said, Joy be to thee always and the always. Okay. Okay. Tobias said, That is the father, okay. What manner of joy shall be to me who sit in darkness and see not the uh, light of heaven? And the young man said to him, Be of good courage, thy cure from Yehovah is at hand. And Tobias said to him, Canst thou conduct my son to Gab uh, Gabrielus at Reg uh, Regis, a city of the meats? And when thou shalt return, I will pay thee the hire. And the angel said to him, I will conduct him hither and bring him back to thee and Tobiah said to him I pray thee tell me of what family or what tribe art thou 17 and Raphael the angel answered do as thou seek the family of him thou highest or okay or the hired servant himself to go with thy son 18 but least I should make this uneasy okay make thee uneasy I am Azarias, the son of the great Ananias. He personate Azarias. He personate this family. So he put on the face of Azarias. So the old Tobias now begin uh, Tobias now begin to see in Jeraphe as one, the son of the great Ananias. So if I believe what can do this, what is this word like? I just put this few. Yeah, there, there are many that you know. Many to add, but let's out of the mouth or two or three witness testimony will be established. So right now, let's go deep. Why are we here? The word of Abayo is a miracle. Let's do that now. Kaza one, see the serpent. Do you still believe in miracle? <laughs> Everything the royal Lord taught us as a miracle, this guy trampled them all on their foot. He said, Hanukkah, Enoch died. He never raptured, but me, what the royal law said, they raptured. He said, uh, Elijah, whom you call Elijah, died. He never raptured. This guy, you messed up the whole matter. Run from that guy. Indeed, that guy is the is Simeon, the sorcery. He's really operating with a high ranking demon. If you see how this guy, you know, just trample all this thing, oh, you can't even handle it. Except you are one of them, then you're going to be, you know, tolerating him. If not, you're going to be so grieved in your spirit and you, before you knew, to lay curses on him. I ran away from his page. He's so evil. He is the worst so far. He carried a wicked anointing to, you know, to trample down the wonders of Yehovah. Now I want to dig into this. Why this? Hebrews chapter 7, verses 1. For this man kills the king of Shalom, prince of the most high Yehovah, who meet Abraham, returning from the slaughter of the kings, and bless him. One person is a king. One person is a, is a prince. 
him alone occupied this office. He said, King of Shallow. King of Shallow simply means a king of uh, right, uh, righteousness. And the other one, oh, 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 king of righteousness and king of peace. And it's also a high priest at the same time. And this is the one Yahushua uh, ministry here on earth based on. Not ironic uh, priesthood. Mm -mm. Two. To whom also Abraham gave a tenth part of all first being by interpretation king of righteousness. And after that also king of shalom peace. Which is king of peace. Him alone is the who is king of righteousness. Seth. Thunder strike you again because of one year. What's my thing? Three now listen. Without father. Without mother. Without a descent. Being a... Uh, being neither be, having neither beginning of days nor end of life, but make like unto the son of Yahuwah a brother a priest continually. Now consider how great this man was, unto whom even the patriarch Adam, excuse me, Abraham, gave the tenth of the spoil. You don't have father, you don't have mother, you don't have brother, you don't have sister. His this has no end. It's like unto the son of Yahuwah. This is Yahushua. He may look occupied that office. A priest and a king. He's the king of righteousness. He's the king of peace. And he's also most high. Now he said his office is not based on me. Uh, excuse me. Under the uh, rules of Aaron. But under the whatever of me. He is me. Everyone knows that. Except we want to learn like Kaza was. He the serpent said. This guy. This me. He said. That's the nonsense. This is another wicked blasphemy. They are passing on, poison into the country. They are poisoning the soul of the children of the Most High. Now, how can Seth be this? We know Seth have a father, a dog. He has a mother, Shawa or Kawa. He has brother. We know that. His death was end. We know he died. You can go and check the account of Genesis chapter 5. He died. Ah, ah, he said this guy has no end of days. And he don't have a father, he don't have a mother. It just exists just like that. Uh, uh, we don't know who is the father again of a, a, a Seth, even when he was being birthed. <laughs> no, this guy, Kazawa, is my enemy eternal. Enemy eternal. All right now. <clears throat> Over 13. Oh, 14. For it is evident, for it is evident that our Adonai sprang out of Yahudah, of which tribe Moshe speak nothing concerning priesthood. He was just saying that uh, Moshe never say in the tribe of Yahudah one can be king and one the same policy can also be priest. Okay, Lewi family is the priest, where Yahudah is the king. All right, so we go now in the order of Melchizedek mm -hmm. 17. For he testifieth that for he testifieth. Thou art a prince forever after the order of Melchizedek. Did you get that? So the priest order of Yahushua wasn't based on that of Aaron, but rather of that of Melchizedek. And we know Melchizedek was walked this earth, which is Yahushua Hamashiach. Let's confirm that before I let you know. Maria came. Maria's mother was from the Lewi family, and her father was from Yahuja. This is a miracle, my friend. Who could do a thing like this? Abba Yehua put one woman in these two family. That was why Yehoshua was made through a woman. He was made of a woman. A woman made him. Okay? Maria came from the two sides of Melchizedek, which is a priest and also a king, eternal. And this is how, oh no, oh no, who could do a thing, a thing like this? This is the finger of Abba Yehovah. But Kazawa, you are not seeing it. You are seeing the finger of the devil. You are seeing Belzebeth. Give it the glory of Abba Yehovah unto just a man. He corrupted sin. Let me tell you, what, what, what corrupts your sin? It is death. You carry it. The same Yusuf or Joseph also carries, carries death. Only Abba Yehovah don't have that. Huh? That is the need for Messiah. Every man have it. You have it in your genital. You carry it. After you are bang your wife, that is the symbol of your death. Right away, your penis will just go down the grave. If you like, type and type and do and woo and do whatever you want to do to please him. He will never resurrect until he gathers strength already again. That is a symbol of you are dead already. As soon as you bang, it's gone. The strength is over. You became like a water leaf. 
Yes, it's a symbol of you carry death, but you will indeed die, uh, uh, not physically. All right now, John eight fifty eight or so. This is when Yahushua was dealing with the father of Kazawa, hmm? the Pharisees. Listen now, fifty eight. Yahushua said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Before Abraham, I am. Hmm? Before Abraham, I am. I live before Abraham. Okay, I wanted to read, yeah, 56 before 58. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it and was glad. Eh? He said, Your father Abraham. He rejoiced to see my day. And when he see that my day, he rejoiced. When did Abraham see the day of Yahushua? Follow me up. Let me show it to you. Mm -hmm. And when he see that day, he was glad. All right, now Genesis 14, 18 to 20. And Melchizedek, or rather Melchizedek, king of Shalom, uh, brought forth bread and wine. You know, Yahushua always you know, do wonders of bread and wine. Is his body okay? And was oh my father, mm. brother, and he was the priest of the Most High Yahuwah. And he blessed him and said, and he blessed him and said, Blessed be Avram of the Most High. Oh my father, what, what, what is wrong with you, cousin? Why are you mad? I will bear you. I was my tiny 19. And he blessed him and said, Blessed be Avram of the Most High Yahuwah. A possessor, a possessor of heaven and earth, and blessed be the Most High Yehovah, which hath delivered thee, uh, delivered the enemies into thy hand, and he gave him tenth of all. This is where we just read in Hebrew. This is where Abraham sees this, and he rejoice in a pay tenth tithe unto him. Now, who cover up these two offices? Remember, his princely hold is the uh, old is not like that of Aaron. That of Aaron was just a rehazard. But his prince, uh, priesthood or princely office is based, built, foundation, pillar of King Melchizedek. Melchizedek. Not in the order of Aaron, but in the order of Melchizedek. But this is the pardon of king and sheep. This is the pardon Abba you will have already. Everything is already in the beginning. Then he overshadowed this. Then he reformatted this, which is Yahushua Hamashiach. Now, if Yahushua, no, let me be using your message. If your Jesus come, because Jesus is Yahawasha, you are saying Kazawa, okay? That is not my Messiah. Your Jesus is Yahawasha. Hmm? If your Yahawasha, which is Jesus in code, is uh, came from the lineage of Joseph. Now, where is the priesthood? Because like Zedek, he occupied two offices. Priest, he fulfilled that already. His priesthood of office is already been fulfilled. And king, that is what we are proceeding into now. The kingly office, okay? Now, these two glory is in this Melchizedek, Zedek. And the uh, priesthood of Yahushua is not based on that of Aaron, but that of Melchizedek. Zedek. Now, Joseph, father, mother, we know that the, it just came from the like cost lineage, okay, of Solomon to, to, to David. But Maria, the woman, came from the both sides, okay. He, her mother, let's also read that, from the family of Lewi, while her father from the family of Yahuda. And this is how Maria made Yahushua. He got the throne. Through his mother. Remember, the five daughters of Zelusephath can get the heritage of their father. And that was that is what actually what happened to Maria. Mm? So just left from his princely office. It's not based on the early one. In like manner, his kingly office is not based on the early one. The one that based on the early one. You see, the two sons of Eli, they were they corrupt the office. The, you know, they were fornicated, doing all kinds of uh, rubbish things. I bet you what killed them. Yahushua's all is not based on their own. He entered into the holies of holies through his blood. In like manner, his kingly office, getting it back, is not based on David or based on Solomon or based on Nantar, but it's based on the Melchizedek, king of righteousness and king of peace. The both office is based on that, return back there 
I studied there. Not Kazawa, but the one that meant to save from this great poisonous that is going on in the camp of Israel. This one is really killing souls. This is so killer. This is destiny killer. Now, Luke chapter 1, I read, I think, verses 5. There was in the days of Herod, the king of Yehuda, a certain prince named Zechariah of the cause of Habi, and his wife was of the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. So right now, let us go to where uh, in Jehavre confirmed that to Maria. Okay, 38 now. And Maria said, no, 36 or so. Yeah, 36. And behold, that cousin, Elizabeth, she had also conceived a son in her old age. Thy cousin, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, the son from the Lewis family, is a cousin unto Maria. Well, how did that happen from the mother's side? Because we also see the genealogy, Maria genealogy, which is the very ascending one. Maria genealogy, come on, let me tell you. It means ascension. Go and read it. And that of Yasuf, it means descending. You are descending down. But that of Maria, he means ascension. He ascend up. He take it, he take it, take it. This one begot this, this one, the son of this, this one, the son of that. And then the son of Adam, Adam, the son of Yehovah, ascension. He traced that route back again to Yehovah. All right, now. But Matthew just traced it through men. And you're not telling No, that is not. The office of Yahushua is not based on their words in the order of David. Mm -mm. the, the kingdom is what counts. Not David. He's been given unto David to practice. Just as the other one, princely office also been given at Aaron. Give it to Aaron to practice it before the rightful owner will come. I buy your water hold, you know, apology to let him know. And this is why I did it. If you cannot take it the way it is, get out and shut your mouth. Okay? If you speak against already, you have done so. He will kill you. He will kill you eternally. All right, on the side of Maria, let's also go there. The Ascension Genealogy. Luke chapter 3, 23 to 38. And Yahushua himself began to be about 13 years of age, being, as was supposed, the son of Yesuf. No, it's not, it's supposed, that is not the son of Yesuf, okay? Of course, it's his, you know, legal father, not biological father, okay? The son of Yesuf, which was the son of Heli, that is the uh, father of um, Mariam. Heli, he came from the tribe of Yehuda through Nete. Let's go there. All right, now we read verses um, 31. Which was the son of Melia, which was the son of Menah, uh, if I could pronounce it, well, forgive me. Menah, which was the son of Metia, uh, Metetia, which was the son of Nathan, which was the son of Dawit. This is what we want, okay? I think I have to take it again. I could pronounce it well. Which was the son of Melia, which was the son of Menah, which was the son of Matetia, which was the son of Nathan, which was the son of David, which was the son of Jesse, which was the son of Obed, which was the son of Boaz. I leave it over there. So do you see? Now let me give you references where you can get nothing from the genealogy of uh, David. I think first, uh, yeah, first Chronicle chapter 3, verses 5. The him and uh, Solomon uh, were father. So Maria's father came from here, while her mother came from Levi family. This is how, this is a miracle. Who could ever do a thing like this? To pull up together, to meet up in the order of Melchizedek, who was a king, at the same time, the high priest of Yehovah. And he said his kingly priest and uh, uh, princely office, he has no end. His kingly office is eternal. His princely office is eternal. He said his pr princely office, not in the order of Aaron, uh -uh, but in the order of Melchizedek. In Lakmana, his kingly office, not in the order of Solomon nonsense, horrible set of human beings, cost lineage, Konaya is being cost, not in that cost order, in order at all, but in the order of a new glory, Clancy. You know, in order for Abayawa to still meet up with this two glory, which he already bestowed upon Mariam, the five daughters of Zelusava get their father in inheritance through, uh, 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 yes, they get the inheritance of their fathers. You can also see that thing, number 26 and number 30 or so. They inherit the, 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 their father's property. In like Mama Mary, inherit her father's property in order to put Yahushua in this wonderful good condition. Not for you to mess up his uh, oh no, sign of birth.
Okay, quickly, let me see if I will be able to put that now. Now, in the, in the other ways, uh, the family of Lewi, you can check Numbers chapter 1 and Numbers chapter 2 study. He always scatter among the 12 tribes. Lewi can be found in the tribe of Yehuda. It can be found in the tribe of Simeon, Beyami, Be Rehoben. It's scattered. It's scattered throughout Aisha. Uh, 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 oh, my father. All right, now, no problem. I couldn't remember all 12. But he is scattered. That's what we are saying. You, you can find Lewi, Lewi in every single tribe because he carry the presence of Abba Yehovah, the, you know, which is the Ark of the Covenant. They are the carrier of the presence of Yehovah, which is the Ruach HaKodesh. So Ruach HaKodesh is upon or in every single tribe. So that is what Lewi is serving for. That was why whenever they are going into battle or whatever, Lewi always centered, is, is in their center, while every other tribe will circle around him. That is the son of the Ruach HaKodesh being dispatched into every tribes of Yehuda, the 12 tribes okay now we know the 12 original tribe and through yourself a yusuf we get to extended tribe that's why all the tribe is 13 tribe will sit in number chapter 12 but now let will be in the center while every other 12 tribe will circle around him that is a symbol of the holy spirit you know be scattered into every single tribe and only maria carried his glory he was made of a woman born under law okay now we read, I'm going to pre uh, preset Hebrews chapter se uh, 7 verses 14. I will preset it with Revelation chapter 5 verses 5. Listen now. And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not, behold, the line of the trap of Yehudah, the root of David, is the root. He stand David. David don't hold no covenant. Yahushua only give it unto him to be, you know, practicing it because Abba Yehovah. He will always overshadow what he have already. That is the pardon. He gave it unto David. He said he's the root of David. He's the one that stand David. David never stand him. For you to be saying he's got the kingdom through David. No, 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 no. He gave it to David. He said he's the root of David. Even in the heaven. You, you who cannot see, see him, see him as the trap of Yahudah. Mm, that is the kingly trap that is left over. In the order of Melchizedek, not the order in the order of David. No. Listen. Uh. And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Yehuda, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book and to lose the seven seals thereof. Did you get that? Even in heaven, he still carries his throne. The lion and the root of David, without the Yahushua, who is David, he can stand. So his kingly part is also in the order of Melchizedek, not the order of Solomon. Filthy, horrible set of human beings. No, Konaya, useless animal. Hmm? Konaya, Ahab, another devil. Ahaz, again, another devil. Konaya, now begin to sacrifice his sons, his children to demons. You want to buy, you want to stick with that? You are all mad. Eh? You are all Makazawa, gathering of Jesus Christ madness. You are all mad. You are what's mighty name. You are spreading poisons, virus, coronavirus, to kill someone, second death. That is what, what that is what your ministration means. Now, Yeshua, Isaiah chapter 30, excuse me, 43, 18 to 20. Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now is now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not see it? Oh, excuse me, shall ye not know it? I will even uh, make a way in the wilderness, okay, and rivers in the desert, or whatever. The beast, okay, whatever. Forget the former things. That in the order of whatever that we forget about that. Abba Yehovah said, this new thing is already there. Okay, the new thing the kingdom is bringing about is in the order of Melchizedek, not in the order of a corrupt kingdom. A kingdom that's been blasphemed. Okay. A filthy kingdom. Mm -mm, don't watch for that old system. Now watch for the in the order of Melchizedek. There's something new you have never ever seen in your life. That is what Abba Yehuwa want us to watch. Abba Yehuwa rejected that lineage already. So that was why the conception was the, is the most eternal powerful miracle. You see how he put it together. This is the finger of Abba Yehuwa. Now according to the book of Botalomi. Maybe I'm going to do that one separately. Chapter 5. The service, how Yahushua was being conceived, took place in heaven. It was never here. 
he took place in heaven. The same sign found in Matthew 27, when Yehoshua gave up the spirit, the earthquake, the grave opened. That is a sign. That sign came from his birth. You can read it, the Gospel of Bartholomew, chapter 5. You're going to find it over there. But there is a part I disagree in that, disagree with in that Gospel. Was that, I bet you what I say, in three years' time, you will conceive my son. No, 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 no. It was just three hours sign, uh, time, service. The service took place in heaven. She, was, she ate bread and she drank wine. Mm -hmm. She just ate bread and drank wine. Okay? And that was how the concession took place. She now see it as a food. That was immediately the seed was being given. Abba Yawa gave her the seed to eat it up like a bread. After she had ate that bread, Abba Yawa also gave her a wine to drink. That place took, that service took place in the holies of holies in the heaven. That was when Yahushua died in Matthew 27. He said the temple was rent. And we now see the holies of holies. And what is inside the holies of holies? It's only three people. Okay, the Ark, uh, Yehovah and the Ark of the Covenant and the two cherubim. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's the only three objects you will find. And that service took place in the holies of holies in heaven. Oh no, but I'm not going to read it. Maybe I'm going to do another subject prior to that. To let you know. That was what Maria said. From now onward, all nations is going to call her blessed. All generation. Okay. I can also give you the visions of Apostle Shaul. You can also read it beforehand. That. Visions of Apostle Shaul, chapter 46. Maria have a kingdom in heaven. Meanwhile, Maria is still worshipping Yahushua HaMashiach. That was why I say, the one that is coming out, Maria never gave birth to that. The one Maria gave birth to is the one that died and redeemed you and me. And the one that came back, it is a pure word of Abba Yehovah. He never died. Okay, so I will do, oh, if there is a chance, I'm going to be doing subject about that. How powerful Abba Yehovah make Maria to be, even in heaven. She have her own throne. She have her own kingdom. Apostle Shaul saw the vision, not me. And they put it down. When I read that, I said, wow. This is not in any way to elevate woman. This is not in any way, you know, to propagate woman. But we are praising the handwork of Abba Yehovah. Because this is a woman Abba Yehovah have some kind of a sexual relationship with. In planting his son. That is wonders. That is miracle. So the one we are done with this now. The one we are going to do now, where Kazawa came from. They came from Babylon. They came from Egypt. These are the missed multitude that came along with us. Only